always love to check that sample. And through the day, check it and keep your trucker on his toes and he's got something to look at and, and figure out who's the guy is the, figure who the, the culprit is putting the bad sample in. This year, it seems like we had to thrash a bit harder than we normally would on barley. Uh, this field, maybe not as much. Some of the first fields, uh, um, that, those skinny kernels, you need to rub them a little bit harder to clean that sample up. You had to watch, you didn't didn't uh, crack them too bad, but they're pretty tough. They're tough little hard kernels. And so on this field here, it's a little plumper. Uh, I think we'd be not, just making sure we're not uh, running our concaves too tight of clearance. Uh, we run a couple different types of combine. We have a couple of John Deere's and a new haul, and so they're all set a little different. But uh, you, you know, you run a, uh, less clearance than you would on wheat. Um, but maybe a little tighter this year than, than normal. It's a bit of a fine line, you just gotta watch where you're at. The heads are a little bit smaller. The top portions haven't been aborted, so we've been tightening up the concaves a little bit, trying to rub it out a little bit quicker on the first pass. And then kernel size seems fairly uniform. It's a lot plumper than what I was anticipating. So we're hoping it'll, the bushel weigh to be close to 50 pounds.